Hello everyone, happy to see you here. Really interesting exponential equation today. We need to find our x. We have x to the fifth equal to 9 to the x and we need to find our x from this equation. This equation looks like easy one because we have like no huge powers. We have 5, 9, we have x right here, x right here, no, no squares, cubes. We have looks like a really easy equation. It looked like we can find a root uh, after inspection but I want to show you a uh, method and of course this is not like an easy method because this is a higher math problem a little bit because this is not like a school problem we need to use our tricks our formulas right here so i'm going to show you how can we solve it first of all we have a power we have exponents so we can easily use natural log on both sides so we have natural log x to the fifth on the left hand side equal to natural log 9 to the x so nothing hard just take natural log on both sides of what we're going to do next let's bring these elements right here in the beginning we can do this knowing log property let's do this bring in these elements in the beginning so we right here on the left we will have 5 times natural log x and on the right hand side we have x times natural log natural log 9 okay right now we have variables we have constant on the left and we have the same situation we have variables and we have constant on the on the right so we need to bring this, we need to regroup this on the left, variables and constant on the right hand side. How can we do this? Let's divide both sides, for example, by x. If we divide by x, from here we can cancel. So as a result, this x will be on the left. So 5 natural log x over x equal to natural log 9. So right here we have variables, we have variables, and right here we have a constant. So it's really good. So right here we divide them by x, right here we divide them by 5. So from here we cancel it. Every here we appears this 5. So we have natural log x over x equal to natural log 9 over over 5. Okay, we have this situation. And of course, right here, it looks like we can find our root by inspection. We have a constant. We can maybe simplify this on the left, but it's not our case because we need to, to solve it using Lambert W function. It's not possible to solve it by inspection. We need to know a little bit about Lambert W function. First of all, let's write this x as, so right here, natural log x, and this x, let's write as e to the power x, e to the power natural log x. This is the same, but I want to write it in this way. Why I write it? I want to show it later. So right here, the same, natural log x, natural log 9 over, over 5. Okay, and right now I want to bring this element on the, to our numerator. If I bring this right here, I need to put minus. So don't forget it. We have e to the power minus natural log x times natural log x equal to natural log 9 over over 5. So we hope you understand this step. We just bring this element to our numerator. And right now I want to write a little bit about Lambert W function. How this function looks like. If we have some expression, for example, a times e to the power a. So this expression. And this expression, if we apply Lambert W function from this expression, we will have that this will be equal to A. So this is the main rule in this, in this, in this algebra problem. So if we have same A right here and right here, and we will have E, I create this E before and we need it right now. So we will have our A. Let's look to our, to our problem. Right here we have e to the power minus natural log x. So we have this e to the power minus natural log x. So it looks like a, but this a not equal to minus natural log x. This is our positive natural log x. So it's really good to multiply it by minus one. So let's do this, multiplying by minus one. So we will have, I write it in a different order. So minus natural log x times e to the power minus natural log x equal to minus natural log nine over over 5. Okay, we just multiply both sides by minus. And right now, if you look closely, we will have this, this is our a, this is our e, and this is our a. So we can easily apply Lambert W function from this all elements, and this all elements Lambert W function. If we apply on the left, what we'll have? We'll have only our a, but a in our case equal to minus natural log x. And on the, on the right hand side, we have Lambert W function of minus natural log 9 over 5. 
So this is, this is some constant. We can easily find our values of Lambert W function. So this is nothing hard on the right hand side. Don't be scary about this. These all elements are in internet. So we can easily find the exact value of this Lambert W function. Okay, we have minus nature log x equal to this one. How can you find our x? Let's, let's write it as e to the power minus, or not minus, let's write it as e to the power nature log x to the power minus one. So this is the same as this one, but I want to write it as e. And if we create e right here, we need to write e on the right hand side, e to the power Lambert W function of minus nature log nine over, over five. Okay, e, e, we can easily cancel, not cancel, this is our base, so we need to compare our powers, our exponent. So we have, right here, we can easily cancel it, this equal to one, so we have x to the power minus one equal to e to the power Lambert W function of minus natural log nine over, over five. And right now, let's multiply it by minus one, or not multiply it, this is our power. Of course, we need to bring it in our to our denominator. So we will have our x equal to one over e to the power Lambert W function in this point minus natural log nine over over five. This is our our solution. Of course, you can you can approximately find this answer because right here this is a constant, this is not a variable, this is a constant. So one divided by constant will be equal to some constant. Of course, approximately this is not like an integer right here because this is not integer, I guess. So we'll have approximately our our answer. If you still have any question, write a question in comment. It will be really interesting to read it. And of course, thank you so much for watching, for your support. I really appreciate it. It helps me a lot. It inspires me a lot to make new content. So thank you and see you in the next videos. Have a great day.